What if you could take the functionality of an app and put it into a website? That's what we call a progressive web app. So it's a new technology, a new way of writing code that actually allows you to install information on somebody's phone through your website and give you a lot of the functionality that an app has. Some of the pieces of functionality, my personal favorite would be push notifications. Another one would be offline functionality. So you're literally installing an app on their phone with their permission, of course, without them downloading and installing an app. So from a conversion point of view, it's a much easier conversion to get somebody to give you permission to maybe send them coupons later, and then they say, yes, I'd like coupons later, and it starts installing your progressive web app in the background, than it would be for you to say, go install my app, go to the Apple Store and download my app and install it on your phone. Much harder to get that audience to do. So you're gonna get a higher percentage of people to convert and install your progressive web app and allow your brand to stay top of mind on their device. Now, some limitations to progressive web app. The biggest one is it's not supported by Safari. So you have to keep in mind that you're gonna develop a fantastic website that delivers on every aspect of a web experience and has on top of it this additional functionality. It's not an either or, and that's why we use the word progressive. It progressively gets better depending on which browser they're using. So if they're using Chrome or uh, Safari, one of these other, or I'm sorry, Chrome or Firefox, uh, it's gonna go well, but it's not gonna do well on Safari. So my name was Eric. Please give us a call. Go to globerunner.com. We'd love to chat with you, and if you're interested in developing a progressive web app, let me know. I'd love to talk with you about it.